Hey guys, it's Katniss54, and I've, right now I've got Emily in McKenna's fan slip. I just wanted to show you because this is what it, she looks like right now. So, please excuse me if you see my messy room and my face. Okay, so she has little shoes, which fit really nicely on here. And then the dress, it looks so pretty on her. And then I just put the little clip in just to give it a nice touch. Okay, so let's get down to business now. Okay, so over the weekend, I was, like, hacked. I was, somebody tried to hack me. Like, I don't even know this person. But, like, they tried to hack me by saying, like, Oh, your vids are awesome. Like, like you should be getting more views. Look at this website. And they'll get you so many more views. And so, yeah. I knew that not to click on it because, like, my friend had gotten hacked the, by the same person and the same exact message. So, I basically just blocked the person, deleted the message, and ignored it. So, down to business again. Sorry about the distractions. But, in the mail, I was, like, stalking UPS or whatever all night like i was literally standing outside my standing in front of my window and i even ran to the mailbox after school so i got so i had ordered mary grace and cecile summer outfit on the 14th i think i believe and then i had ordered mckenna's feather collection yeah but i've been waiting since like i've been stalking ups so okay let's get on with the opening table so here are their boxes. Marie Grace's is cons is quite a bit bigger than Cecile's. You can easily tell that. I think it's because of the packaging. Okay, well I'll open Cecile's first. Oh, the box is damaged. The box is damaged right there. Right at the end. Oh, something clicked. I'll have a little thing of I'll have a little quick little thing now about um Emily showing off the things. So here's her little hat. It's got little daisies right there. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen a single person open this. Oh, and this is limited time only. And both of them were $36 each. And so it's like this little bonnet. And then you just tie it around. I'll quickly show you on Emily. So that you can get a feeling of what it looks like. Get it clipped out. I don't know how this will work out. But... I'll try it anyways. Sorry about this. Let's just switch my camera. Okay, stick right here. Stuff. Oh, I put the little bonnet on. Can you see? Yeah, you can see. Sorry, my room's a bit messy right now. I don't have any Emily's clothes. Okay. Little bonnet on. Take that off. Oops, can I take it open? I wonder how this would look on Cecile. I'm really excited to see it on Cecile. Because it's Cecile's feather outfit. I've only seen it on the website. Um, I've never seen it, like, on another doll. So I'm kind of nervous to see how it turns out. Like, other than in the, like, their studios. Sorry, I'm rambling. I just have a tendency to ramble. So here is Emily with Cecile's bonnet on. It like pulls her hair down. Super cute. See the little daisies right there. Super cute. Okay, let's pop this off. Okay, let's get on with the rest of the video. I'm sorry if this is taking forever. I'm just very excited. This is taking much longer than my other video. Okay, rest with Cecile's outfit. Okay, so here's her little yellow dress. That looks so little. Okay, it would look ador I think it would look really cute with the cannoli and shimmies. So, I think that it would. So it's got little feather sleeves and then it's velcro of course and it's like a really nice like summer yellow blue, like lemon yellow okay. 
And then here are her little boots. They're black. And they've got just like the teensiest of heels like on all doll shoes. And then it's like got these little black buttons, but they don't open. it doesn't open there, but it opens in the back with Velcro like the other little things I got boots. So yeah, there's Cecilia's outfit. And yeah. So time to go on to Marie Grace's outfit. Okay guys, so I just wanted to show you quickly before I open Marie Grace's outfit. Oh, did I? If I didn't mention this before, these two outfits that I'm opening, they are limited edition, and they're both $36. So, here she is with her little dress, which is really cute. It's got, like, a high collar that goes directly up to her, like, up to the top of her chin, but it looks really cute on her. I totally recommend buying it. She looks just like she could be from, like, the 18-whatever, 1860s, I think it was, or 1850s, or 1960s, or something like that. Well, she looks like she could be from New Orleans at the time. And the daisies look just adorable. They're simply stunning on her. Okay, so let's go put it on over here. This is the big launch. Okay, so here is the big launch. This is... This is on my webcam again. Make you see you. Marie Grace's summer outfit. This is much better. I'm just having so much fun. I was just stopping BTS. Even though I am in Canada. What a cute little hat. Okay, lots of people thought that it had ribbon. Like, I even thought it had ribbon, but no, it doesn't. It's got a little elastic and stuff. Elastic! Okay, there's a hat. And then here's her little dress. And it has two little strings here. And they're like little bows. Don't know if this is good quality. But here's her dress all the way open. Velcro again in the back. Oh, and Emily's boots were super easy to get on. It's just like pop off and slip on. So, oh, here are her little boots. She has white on the side instead of black. And these, I think... They look more like brown or cream, but they're actually like a really pale pink. Like, about the same pink as this part right here, like the inside here. But these are really cute boots. Oh, and the inside, that's where the black one is, but it's still Velcro on the back again. So, yeah. I'll have, I'll just quickly get Emily dressed and then show you a little quick little thing about well, and we wear Marie Grace's outfit. And I w am doing the Nutcracker for my school performance, so I won't be able to make it very many videos anymore, but I promise that when I get McKenna and her stuff, I will make an opening video, no matter how busy I am. But just letting guys know, so you're not like, hey, where's your next video? And I'm not. And you know, lots of you think that my, even though some of you think that my stop motion is good up for my Kanani's um, contest on AJ Overseas Kanani contest. Sorry, I'm tongue tied right now. Um, that was actually my first stop motion. I have never done one before. And it's basically just a slideshow of pictures like Scoop and Slaughter Dancer usually makes, like Kristen and Kendall go shopping. So that's an example. That's where I got the idea. But, first one, I don't know how to do voices yet, but, bye. Hey guys, I just finished getting Emily dressed, and this is the best outfit I have ever seen aging, well, American girl, ever make. The hat. Well, personally, in my opinion, I, don't re I didn't really like the bonnet, though. It was a bit too flimsy, and it didn't come forward on her head too much enough. But this is just an adorable hat. It's got, like, sorry, I didn't show this before. But it's got, like, little flowers and ribbon. And then it's got an elastic sort of back, of course. And then this is, like, a shimmery stuff. And it stays on really nicely. Like, I can do this and this little bonnet. I couldn't do that. And it's nicely made, like... 
really nice to make, and I love this outfit on her. And the boots, they're so easy to get on. They just snap, pull back on. It's basically as easy as putting on regular shoes. It's so easy. So, please comment below. Please comment below on if Little Miss Emily, right here, should wear this outfit or Cecile's outfit, which is right here, and all of Cecile's outfits to my Nutcracker thing because I have to be a child opening presents at the party and I want to open her. Or should I bring McKenna there, stick her in her box, and then open her up in this outfit or this outfit? So comment below, below in the comment box, if it should be Emily or McKenna or Cecile or Marie Grace's outfits. So, basically, this is all that I've got. McKenna's stuff should be here pretty soon, but... Okay, thanks for watching. There will be photo shoots coming soon. Sorry for sorry about the delay of videos, but you can see me practicing for Nutcracker. I'm also a dancer. I will try and upload a video of me doing the Nutcracker. I'm also in choir, but I will try and upload a video of it. I'll try as best as I can, but I don't know if that's possible because of the music. It could get, it could get copyrighted, but I'll try. I'll try my hardest to get it on. So thanks for watching, and please comment, rate, and subscribe. Comment, like, if you just started, like, if you're watching this video, please comment what who you think I should bring and who should and who should wear what basically. Okay, thanks. Bye. Oh, and by the way, please don't say that I'm spoiled because I got every single one of these things with my very own money. So just so you don't say that I'm spoiled because I've had some comments like that and I have blue. I have deleted comments like that. If I get one, okay, here's your, here, I'm giving one warning. One warning and one warning only. If anybody says, like, I'm spoiled or anything like that, your comment will be deleted and you will be blocked. Okay? I just don't like those comments. I've had enough of them. So please don't say that I'm spoiled. Oh, and also another thing about my AG doll contest for winning Mia. Well, I'm not doing a video on who won. I sent it to a girl in my neighborhood. So here's the video, basically. So I sent it to my, a girl in my neighborhood because she had won. Surprisingly, she was in my neighborhood. She was a couple houses down. But she, she emailed me her response. Not through YouTube or anything, but she doesn't have a YouTube account. She's too little to have one. But she had made a wonderful, wonderful, like she had made a mattress, a pillow, a, she knit, she crocheted a blanket, and she had even made pajamas for her doll. They, all the entries were very close, and I'm not allowed to give her name, but I just thought about telling you because I keep getting comments. Who won your contest? Who won your contest? And I've had about enough of it. So... There's the answer. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And please, no mean comments or saying that I'm spoiled or anything about the contest because I just explained that. Okay, thanks. Bye.